by honoring our 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 40 year staff members. Woo. I wonder who that 40 year old was. Today we celebrate not only those dedicated individuals, but everyone who has served for those families with dedication and commitment to our guiding principles. This room is filled with individuals who are the leaders, the mentors, the heart of rainbows. And I honor and thank you for your dedication to our children and families. This year we asked our honorees to choose, this year we asked our honorees to choose a song that represents them. And all of us are dying to know because we <laughs> cannot know what each one of you get. So part of that song will be played as they come forward to accept their award. I think we're going to learn a little bit maybe about their personality by the song they pick, so it'll be fun. So um, I'll be helping uh, pass the awards on to our board members, and uh, board members will be handing out the awards. So Gail is going to present our first honoree, so Gail, I'll turn it over to you. All right. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here today. It's exciting to see all the folks that, that have contributed so much to Rainbows. Uh, thank you, Deb. It's been an honor to introduce you to our first one. Our newest members of the 1015 Club are Michael Pedro and Karen Sparks. Michael, please join me as I read your tribute. <laughs> <laughs> Michael has the ability to talk with families about some difficult issues in a way that it's honest but gentle. She has known my peers as direct, but also can deliver a message to families that is compassionate and non judgmental. Michael is a hard worker and brings her speech, language, pathology experience to rainbows as an integral part of our ITS team. We're happy she is on our team. Michael, welcome to the club. <laughs> Thanks, Karis. Please step forward. Thank you. I forgot to get the two of your things. All right. It's my honor now to help recognize our 
15 year uh, service honorees. Gladys Miller, will you really please join us up front? Jill Eastman join us up front. Thank you. 
Now, Joanna Weeby, would you please join us up front to accept your service? Well, you Bangladesh. 
Those close to her have experienced her delicious traditional Bengali dishes. Lufti is famous for her hummus, as it is requested at all Rainbow's gatherings. Lufti's heart and soul is her family. She and her husband, Nir, have three children, Mohammed, Salman, and Nava. Salman and Nava spent their early years attending Rainbow's preschool. Now that her children are adults, she loves traveling the world with each of them. Thank you for sharing your gifts, Lufty, with Rainbow's. Finally today, Debbie Mai. Would you please join us? <laughs> during Rainbows when it had just been in existence for 10 years. That therapist was Debbie Mai. Debbie became Vice President of Programs and Services in 1990. As Rainbows grew in size and scope, Debbie followed the principles of putting children and families first, while making decisions based on what best served Rainbows in terms of mission, viability, and sustainability. Debbie is a servant leader who has walked the steadfast path through the lives of many individuals at Rainbows United. She has provided unwavering support and guidance to Rainbows program coordinators and the staff they supervise. Debbie has helped Rainbows through some very challenging times and also celebrated the many growth opportunities she has helped shepherd. Debbie is consistent in her approach. One can know she will be steady, calm, kind, knowledgeable, reflective, understanding, and generous, no matter the circumstances. Debbie stayed at Rainbows all these years because of the children and families we served. By being a servant leader, by leading the staff of Rainbows, by her example, she has impacted the lives of countless children served by Rainbows staff in the past and for years to come. Thank you, Debbie, for your many years of service. Thank you. 